Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Holy crap! Oh my goodness, this quality is so good! <laughs> if you can't tell, this is a brand new phone. What happened to my old one? Well, it, it stopped working on me last week. So, so I had to go buy a brand new one. And, it, and right now, the phone that I have is the iPhone 15. And oh my goodness, dude, this is, this HD quality is so good! But anyway, Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your lovely, awesome host. So I'm your lovely, lovely, awesome host, Bokusatsu. Or you can call me Aaron, it doesn't matter. And today, we are here to review, not SA figure arts, not a Dragon Ball or Comrade figure. Although, Tomashi did announce Super 17 last night. I'm gonna go buy him, don't worry. But uh, we're here to, we're here to review the reissue of the Metacon Mayfix Carnage. So yeah, let's get on to it. Oh boy, Cleese Cassidy himself. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this figure. <laughs> I, when he first got announced back in a couple of, a couple of years from, I can't talk, so I'm talking too fast, but I'm super excited. Let's try again. When he got announced a couple of years ago, I was super excited because I actually wanted a good card figure. I had the Marvel Legend, that one's good and all. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like that. Uh, I just feel like that. I just feel like that. I want like a uh, imported version. That that like that like what more comic accurate you can say. And uh, well, we got well, well we got well we got well we got Mayfex for that. We got the Lord's. <laughs> Lord, I can't. So let's talk about the good and bad of the figures. So okay. This is how far Carnage's arms go up. This is how far his head go up from here to here to here. Yes, you can't spin it. Do not, and you cannot, you, you know, you cannot pop it off. Oops, sorry. You can pop it off as well. Just be careful with that. Don't try to break that. Okay, well, you need that neck piece right there for the, to put on the other two heads. This is, this is how far his legs go. So this, this is how far his knees go. Same for this one. And yeah. <laughs> Hee -hee. Uh, this is so dope. <laughs> we are Carnage. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> Sorry. Bro, this camera quality is so good. What the heck, man? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Dang. So, uh, yeah, Carnage is pretty good. You can put him in any pose you want to as well. Well, you'll see in the pictures. But no, he, he, he is using like the same, like, he, he is using like the same, uh, mold, you kind of say, I'm guessing, from the other Mayfix by me figures. I think, I think Venom's as well. But yeah, besides that, these figures are really good. Yeah, this is a real issue. Anyone know where I got this from? I bought one from I bought mine from Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sponsored, by the way. So yeah, and fortunately he sold out on there. So sorry. You, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> but hey, if if you can find him, if you can find him for a good price on the aftermarket, then good for you. So we're gonna go, so we're gonna blah, blah, blah. so we are gonna go on to the accessory and yeah he has a lot of accessory because well he's a Mayfex figure and Mayfex figures come with a lot of accessories. Alright, so here we have the Cletus Cassidy head. This looks just like Cletus Cassidy. I like this head scope, I'm not gonna lie. It gives off a psychotic, a serial killer vibe. Well, that's, well, that is Cletus, well, that is Cletus. But still, this, uh, I love, I love everything about this head scope. Also, this head scope gave me the same exact vibe that I seen when I watched the animated series, Spider-Man animated series. 
I know, I know this head is common accurate to the comics, but I see this head, I think of the one, I think of the face from the cartoon. That's just me. Hey, I know it has to go for Carnage, and uh, you can make, and uh, you can uh, make Carnage, well, be in his, in his screaming face, say, We are Carnage! <laughs> But no, though, uh, this, no, 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 but no, uh, this is actually really cool. The big bubblegum, uh, mouthpiece, lol. Here we have an accessory. Here we have, like, two, like, swords, you can kind of say. Because uh, these are basically swords. <sighs> that he, that he made from his, uh, well, his hand. Look like he's in the middle finger for... Look at him. Look at Phil. No, Phil. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This feels all over the place. Excuse me, but uh, it looked like it looked like he's giving the middle finger with these. I can't explain why, but it looked like he just is. Here we have a axe. Here we have a hammer. Here we have like two needles. And, uh, two claws. <sighs> Damn, he can get Wolverine for one of his money with these. He come with a lot of other accessories as well, like, uh, like, uh, these two that you can put on hand to make him, uh, look real, way more realistic with the symbiote, uh, weapons. You get, you get this giant piece. I have no idea what the heck this is for. You get, well, you get two claws, more claws, two, like, two, like, uh, crushing hands, lol. I have no idea what these are for. And, uh, two, uh, and, uh, two more, like, uh, large, sharper claws for hands. And two magnets, uh, feet. And, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, just like with every other Mayfix, he come with he come with a generic Mayfix stand. So, yeah. But yeah, uh, but yeah, that's about it. So on the size, on the size comparison, and uh, well, here we are. So, since he's a Marvel character, let's compare him to the Mayfix symbiote Spider Man. Let's compare him to the uh, S.A. Figure Arts movie Venom. And let's compare him to the S.A. Figure Arts uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, Andrew Garfield. Not gonna lie, he's sitting pretty well and pretty tall with all of them. <laughs> Especially Venom. <laughs> Alright. And uh, here he is with the SA Figure Arts uh, Superhero Broly. I gotta go review that guy one day. Here, here with the SH figures coming at Gatchard, Steam Hopper. Oh. Uh -huh. You figure that one stand, hold on. Here yeah, with the Sinkoku Seho SA Figure Arts Comedy Fives. And uh, yeah. He seems pretty well, he seems pretty well with all of them. Including uh, Big Boy Broly over here. <laughs> 
And yeah, that's about it. Overall, they think it's pretty good. Now, if you don't want to pay around the hundred dollar for for this figure, that's fine. But at the same time, personally for me, I actually I actually prefer this figure way more than the Marvel Legends. I don't know. I just want like a good comic accurate and a good action figure of Carnage. Even though my favorite symbiote between the two is Venom, but still, this is amazing. Good scope, good articulation, good packaging, a lot of accessories, and uh, di and uh, this figure, this figure will give you everything you've been wanting for like a dream carnage figure. It's worth every penny. But what I'm trying to say, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description, and uh, hit the notification button because my goal for this year is to reach, is to reach 1,000 sub, and we guys help. We can do that. No, literally, we can live for real. We can actually do that. So, yeah, all I need to do is just follow all my social description, put the notification button on for my next video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Uh, watch, comment down below and tell me who's your favorite Marvel superhero or Marvel character. And yeah, guys, tune in for my next video, which will probably be on the, uh, SA Figure Arts Ultra Instinct uh, Sign Slash Omen Goku. Yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Aaron, and I'm out. Have a good day. Enjoy the pictures, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.